Welcome. Today in the studio with me is Ellen Weiss, the Regional Director for the Southeast Region of Chai Lifeline. Ellen, I want to thank you for coming in. For our viewers, tell, tell us a little bit about what Chai Lifeline is, what you do, what your population is that you serve. Chai Lifeline is an international organization for children and families in medical crisis. Uh, we began approximately 27 years ago with the idea of a, a camp, a cancer camp for children with cancer. If you recall, Paul Newman at that particular time had started his Hole in the Wall camp. A few years soon after that, we recognized that the Jewish community also wanted to, ha to have its own summer camp for kids with cancer. And there's a group of visionaries who really felt that um, programming and different services for the children, Jewish children all over the world who were going through a variety of different medical illnesses, i.e. cancer, deserved to have good support systems and good infrastructure from the Jewish community. Now, your main camp is Camp Simcha. Where, other, where are other camps? Our campsite is in Glen Spey, New York. Uh, we run four programs a year under the auspices of Camp Simcha. There are four sessions, two for boys, two for girls. One session, two of the sessions for the boys and girls are specifically for children with cancer, and the other two sessions are for specifically for children with a variety of different medical challenges and, and problems. And are there camps in other countries? We, are, we, we have offices in other countries, but all of our camping is done on this beautiful, wonderful, fabulous campsite up in Glens Bay, New York. So how does a, a, a family with this kind of need, what's the process they go through to, to hook up with Chai Lifeline? So our Chai Lifeline network basically is all over the world. We have offices throughout the United States, in California, in Chicago, in Florida, uh, in New York, in New Jersey, in Canada, in Belgium, in Israel, in England. I think I covered them all. And our network system allows us to be in touch with numerous, numerous hospitals, doctors, federations, schools, communities, um, all over the world. And our referrals come from all assorted different people from all over the world. So when a child is diagnosed with a serious illness, we like to believe that, our, that the community at large will respond in, in the way that traditionally our Jewish people have always responded with support and help and we've managed over our 27 years to tap into a network of different people different services and they'll make the referral to High Lifeline at that time um, a High Lifeline case manager will contact the family introduce themselves assess the family and its needs and see whether or not they're appropriate for camp and or many of our other services and how many children are you able to reach in the course of a year? What's your population? Chai Lifeline itself and our programs reach over about 3,000 families a year. Our camp, we have over 400 children that come to our camp. But our actual tapping into our families runs into thousands and thousands, depending, of course, on what the, the needs are. And let me ask you, you know, we try to envision this, at least I do, uh, uh, a camp, but a camp where the children are very ill. Um, what's a normal day for them or, uh, compared to a camp for healthy children? So a normal day in Camp Simcha is just that, a normal day. Uh, we're very privileged. We have an excellent medical team up in camp. Every one of the camp sessions is medically supervised by a wonderful group of professionals. And the day starts out like any other day with a wake-up call, breakfast, lunch, and supper, and a host of an, an amazing amount of different programming. Our programming for the children does include a little bit more than your average camp in that we make each day very, very special for the kids. So it can be anything from a Cinderella ride in a coach, Cinderella coach ride, to a helicopter ride, to horseback riding, to handicap uh, mountain climbing, to masquerade parties, to any and every kind of imaginable fun event is programmed beforehand and a day in Camp Simcha brings smiles every single moment.
Well, that's amazing. It's, it's very, very good work. Um, how do people plug into the network if, if they're not in there now? Okay. So the best way is, of course, uh, www.highlifeline.org. Um, we, like I said, our, you could use our website. You can call our regional offices, which are identified on our website. Um, I am the Southeast High Lifeline Southeast Director. My office is in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. We can be reached by telephone, email, or our website at any time. Or even if a person has a child with, with an illness, they can so oftentimes just uh, ask their local social worker and or, hot, or doctor, and usually they have our brochures in the major hospitals in the country. So uh, if a child, let's say, here in Florida, wanted to go to Camp Simcha this summer, so they would have www.highlifeline.org. Tells the whole Click story. Click to Southeast, find exactly where you live, what region of the United States, and I can almost guarantee you that you'll receive a phone call back within 24 hours from the most compassionate, capable, supportive staff person who will be happy to listen to you, do a good assessment, and then, and then it all begins. Once you join our family, you're part of our family. And are there any special requirements for children who come to the camp? Or? In order to come to the camp, there is, an, a, there is a, um, an assessment that is made by our medical team. Uh, we handle a lot of very critically ill children, but there, so there is a medical uh, assessment that is made, and um, the social worker and case manager also makes a recommendation. All right. Ellen, I want to thank you for bringing this information to us and, and this great work. And I encourage our viewers, the camp is there, and, and it sounds like a marvelous, marvelous experience for the children. Well, thank you. So thank, thank you, you for, for giving joining us this us. opportunity. That's it for this edition. For more information on our show, please visit us on the web at tolifelechaim.com. I'm Lee Lazarson. Thank you very much for joining us. And to life, lechaim. <laughs>